The next training game is a combination of football and basketball. In order to get the players used to this game, we should start off easy and begin with a few warm-ups. Each player has to dribble two balls simultaneously, one by foot and one by hand. He has to dribble the one ball in a way that still allows him to dribble the other, and at the same time still enables him to move forward. This equally improves both hand-eye and foot-eye coordination, since he should use both of his hands and feet to dribble. He shouldn't just rely on his preferred hand and foot, instead he should use the weaker hand and foot as well. Naturally, the players are going to struggle more with their weaker hand and foot, but that's why we have a warm-up phase before we get to the actual training game. In the first variation, we divide the players into two teams, and now only one of the two teams' players still dribble the ball by foot. But both teams still dribble the ball by hand. The teams can move around randomly on the pitch, and the players bouncing the ball have to trap and control the balls while simultaneously making sure not to lose possession of their other ball. Once they've controlled the ball, they must make sure to accurately deliver the next pass to one of their teammates. The final variation is the most challenging because two teams are now competing against one another. Each player still bounces one ball like a basketball and they're only allowed to pass the ball by foot if they keep bouncing the other ball with their hand. This combines all the things that we had previously worked on trying to move freely the dribbling of one ball while bouncing the other, as well as optimizing the player's hand-eye coordination. At the same time, we're trying to see that the shots on goal, as well as the necessary team play, round out the drill and create a competitive scenario that is both fun and challenging, while it simultaneously provides a great learning effect.